Hey guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install plugins to uh, LSPDFR. Okay, so first thing you want to do is download the plugin you want. So for instance, I'm going to be installing four plugins today. So the first one is Traffic Policer. So this is where you can use your breathalyzer, track offenses, speed detection and more. Okay, this is made by Albo and I will show you what it does when we're in the game, okay? So you want to download this one by just clicking download and download the latest version. Next one I'm gonna install is Police Smart Radio. This one's by Elbow as well. This is pretty much an essential one. It's just, it's just uh, so good that it just makes the game more realistic. Just press the download button that you do all the, that you used to do. All sorts of call out, this is a call out. So you get uh, dispatcher, call out a bit uh, out a uh, call when you could accept it this one I'll be installing there's so many out there they are all pretty much all the same to install so that would be this one just press the download uh, this is what the uh, uh, the pack has got inside it and then I'm gonna install the last one I'm gonna install is a call out manager this one allows you to pick what call out pack you want to call so like if you're in a video when I'm recording a video I can choose which sort of um, call I want so it's not always the same okay and then it press just download and follow that so once all those four are downloaded I got them all here all you need for this one is your game directory all right so you got all this if you uh, haven't got a mods folder or if you if yours don't look and look in the in the playlist of the tutorials on my channel and you be able to find or get all your um, ones all like this all right so the first one we're going to be installing is traffic policer so double click on that so you've got this window open just bring it over there so we can see what we do it so what we want to do click on this one and then you want to go to Grand Theft Auto Fire folder. All right, all three, four of these. Copy, and then you want to drag it into your Grand Theft Auto Five uh, directory. Drag and drop, and let go. And boom, all done. If it comes up saying replace, just replace. All right, and that's that one installed. So we can close that one. This is how simple this is. Open this one up. Close that. Double click on that one, Grand Theft Auto 5. What I do with Albo 1 and uh, which one is it? The Rage Native UI. If Whenever you install different plugins, look which one's the latest version. Always have the latest version because some, some of them need the latest version to work. So say if this one was 2017 and this one in here was 2018, use that one. Or if it was the other way around, this one's 2018, and this one's 2017, use the 2018 one. Otherwise, the one what was with this one might not work, right? So always check that. So this one's elbow one. So this one is 3-7-2019. This one is uh, 25 second 19. So you can see this one we got in here is actually newer. So that one there is actually newer than this. So this one's February, this one's March of the same year. So keep that one, don't copy that one over, all right? So then you just wanna copy the plugins folder, so click, drag, make sure you're in your game directory, and drop. And that's that one done. So now you want to go to all sorts call out, so whatever pack you want to install, right? You can do so. It's pretty much exactly the same as this. So look, this one. So now you've got a Rage Native UI in Albow 112.common. All right. So this one, you can see 3719. 3719. So it's exactly the same one. So you don't need to copy that one over. Rage Native UI. Go down. Rage Native UI. The 1231.17. 1231.17, exactly the same, so you don't need to copy that one over. So you just need to copy the plugins and LSPDFR folder over, drag and drop, make sure you're in your game directory. Copy that over, wait for that to copy, and done. 
If it does come up saying replace file, just press replace. It, it's fine. That's all the f oh, and this one, and install this one as well. So to install this one, it lets you just debug the folder. This one. So drag and drop into your game directory. Remember, it's always in your game directory, nowhere else. Drag and drop. And that's those four installed. So now, if I launch up the game, I can show you these three in uh, these four. Sorry, in uh, progress. All right. So launch the game up. And uh, I'll wait for this to load up, and I'll be back when the game is loaded. Right, when you uh, launch your game with Please Smart Radio installed, you will get this message, okay? So, I will show you how to do it. So, if you press what, uh, number 2, I'll show you how to do it. So, when it comes up, um, obviously you've got new buttons. So, if you just press enable, uh, enable this button, new button so you press one on the keyboard so uh if you don't want for instance this is uh, the pit button so when you're in a pursuit you can have the pit button come up if you if for some reason you don't want that then you can just press number two and you disable this button so that means it will never come up okay so i just press one and it'll come up this so that one was on uh when you was walking this one is in your vehicle and this one is a plate check so if you want that one to come up, I guess obviously all of you probably will. So just press one. So just keep pressing one for them all. This is a panic button, this one. So you can have that one come up. Uh, ped check, if you want that one to come up. And the call, if you want that one to come up. And that's them all installed. So now it's reloading LSPDFR once it's done that because it needs to restart the um, LSPDFR. So LSPDFR is now restarting. So just wait for that one to restart. Shouldn't be too long. So now LSPDFR has started. So now you want to force duty for all these all this stuff to work. So now you are force dutied. So if I spawn my vehicle, so it's a spawn FBI. Oh, put spawn first, that'd be good. FBI. Install uh, spawn that one. Let's get in this vehicle. I turn it daytime, you'll we'll see better. Neutral, there we go, right. Now it's daytime. Turn the lights on. So now you're patrolling, so you're going around. Um, oh, here we go. So we've got, it looks like we've got a crash or a stolen vehicle or something, so you can stand behind it. And it looks like someone crashed it, so if you just get out. And have a look. Like, oh, what's happening here? Let's go here. Well, no one's in there. Must have done a runner. So you have pressed C button. Don't know why it's flashing for. Normally, it just comes up fine. Dispatch calling unit one, Lincoln 18. There we go. Right, it's working now. It might just need to settle a bit. So now you've got it come up in the right. Um, bottom right corner of your screen. You can change it to whatever position in the I and I file in the description. All right. I know why he's doing that because I haven't got my mini map up. Uh, let's put my mini map up. So if you go down to display and turn my mini map on. Right. Our mini map's on. It stays up. That was the problem. Right. So now you've got that up. See as at the moment you could do a plate check and a panic button all right so say if we like and see if this car is stolen for instance so you press the C button for this is default and that comes up you can use a G button and the T button to go up and down so that's a G T so you can go up and down so you've got the so let's do a plate check so to enter press the Z button press that and it does a plate check so it's doing the plate check checking for it Target license plate. Eight seven Edward Henry Ocean one zero five no ten ninety nine. Oh my god! Go away! If you hit my car, I'm going to shoot you. So that's how you use the police radio. That is pretty simple. So when you're driving, you got a pursuit. You can use that, and so you can get uh, like a request to pit. So that's the police smart radio. 
to let's use the the other script which is the uh, so as it's on my F12 key that's my screenshot key so this is the call out manager will be installed remember so here you can see all the plugins that you installed like the scripts for uh, call outs so say like all sorts of call outs you just use the arrow keys up and down like you would expect use enter key to click so say like we want uh, I don't know let's see traffic stop back up just press the enter key and it comes up so you press Y to uh, accept it and then you close that down you can in the INI so when you click on a game <coughs> click on the uh, um, call out you can so that menu closes on it when it does it all right so let's just for instance respond to this and this is how that works that's how the uh oh i just clicked off the screen that's why i lost my controls so i'm using a keyboard so that's why i'm driving really bad all right <laughs> so that's how that works so the last one I need to show you is traffic police. All right. So, say if we're pulling over this car, just pull him over like you would like you would do. Press your shift key or the A button on your controller. Pull this car over, and then you can see that uh, script work. So he's pulling over like he should. All right. So now we can use smart radio for a plate check. So number C and then Z for the plate the, the enter it so they do the plate check on it target vehicle license plate zero eight george nora john nine zero one a traffic violation proceed with caution so expired registration on him oh, my Lord. so you say so you just go up and now you can press the e key and here's traffic stop map this is the script so you can go like hello uh give long license and all that um, usual stuff that you expect so you can go back to your car and use police uh, smart radio uh, the smart radio you can to um, check the pet's name and all everything like that so for instance say like oh he's not been done anything wrong so we could just issue him a warning but before I do that I show you on the police smart radio that you can go down to pet check so you can enter that and I'll check his name for you and that is pretty much everything. So now, if we go to issue You're warning, not even worth it. the issue is warning, and then they, and then they would drive off. And that is pretty much it. So thank you for watching this uh, video. If you need any help, um, or you getting crashes or whatever, then message me in the description, in the comments, or use the link in the description for uh, my mod, for my uh, Discord and I'll help you on there. If you want the links to all the uh, scripts I use in this episode, then they'll be in the description or on my mod list. Other than that, like, comment and subscribe would be very appreciated and uh, thanks for watching my video and I'll see you in the next one.